Hello, I'm Professor Liz Bentley and I'm Chief Executive at the Royal Meteorological Society and I'm here to present some highlights from the recent IPCC sixth assessment report published on the 9th of August 2021. Let's start by looking at what IPCC assessment reports are. So the Intergovernmental Panel on, Ch on Climate Change, the IPCC, publishes these reports about every six or seven years and they provide an update in our understanding of the science of climate change. They're really important, they're used by policymakers. It gives them an assessment of the science of climate change, uh, the implications and any potential future risks from climate change. So the sixth assessment, there were 234 authors involved from 66 countries around the world. And those authors have reviewed over 14,000 science papers that have been published and it's, so the overall assessment report is a synthesis of all these many thousands of scientific papers to give an overall consensus of what the science about climate change is in, at the moment. So a first draft is produced and then that's circulated to, to governments and experts from right around the world. And for the sixth assessment, over 78,000 comments were received from 46 different countries. And then there's a two week period where the whole report is signed off with involvement from um, governments and experts and the scientists. And then the, the report itself was published on the 9th of August. The sixth assessment has a couple of new features. So it also includes some regional fact sheets and an interactive atlas. So you can get down to more regional level and look at climate change and how it's changing um, for different parameters on, on a regional scale. So it's quite a start report. Um, I guess the message in this report, in the sixth assessment report, is similar to previous assessment reports, but the tone is very different. There's a much stronger message, a much clearer message um, about the, the, the clarity of, of the um, change that we're seeing, uh, climate change around the world, but also um, the fact that you know, it, it is pretty much unambiguous now that this is down to human activity. So there's a quote in the report saying recent changes in climate are widespread, rapid and intensifying and unprecedented in thousands of years. Probably three take home messages from the report. The first is that humans are unequivocally responsible for global warming. The second, that some climate systems, particularly when you think about sea level rise, are irreversible in at least the next few centuries. And although that time is running out, it's not too late to avoid the worst of, of the impacts of climate breakdown. We focus on some of the detail in the report. Um, it highlights that in the last decade, we've seen the last decade has seen a 1.1 degree warming compared to pre-industrial times. And the report also shows that we're likely to breach the 1.5 degree target. It's more likely that we'll um, that will exceed that um, by 2040. It also states that carbon dioxide concentrations are at their highest in at least 2 million years. Sea level is rising faster than it has in uh, the last at least 3,000 years and the Arctic sea ice is at its lowest level in at least the last 1,000 years. The report also highlights that we're seeing more extreme heat events that are becoming more frequent and more intense, uh, that droughts are increasing in some parts of the world, uh, heavy rain events are becoming more frequent and more intense, uh, wildfires fire events are becoming more frequent, and oceans are not only warming at a faster rate, but they are also acidifying and they're losing oxygen. And there's a link to the full report uh, you can see at the bottom of this slide. Uh, and you can also find the regional fact sheets there and the interactive atlas as well. Thank you.